Right, let's get the cables out of the way first. So they're approximately 1.4 meters long. They're USB 3.0 and nicely made. Nothing fantastic, but nicely made. And you get two of them. Get that out of the way. So on the back, we have two USB 3.0s again, plus a power input. Now this does not come with a power input, but it is five volts and it is a mini USB connection. I've got loads of them sitting about somewhere. So I'm losing my voice at the moment. So we have connection one and connection two and they're labeled up as one and two. On the other side, we have four USBs, as you can see, and all are USB 3.0, very nice. Little rubber feet on the bottom and on the top, we have a button selection or computer selection. So press it once for number one or number two and vice versa. Just keep pressing it. Build wise, it's plastic and I wasn't really expecting there'd be anything else but plastic, but it should do the job. We are going to be testing it. Now then, why would you want one of these? Well, the purpose of this is, say for instance, you've got two PCs, which I have, and you've only got one keyboard and one mouse, which I haven't, I've got loads of keyboards and mouse, mice, mice, about five I think, but you don't have a lot of space on your desk and you don't want to add more than one keyboard and more than one mouse, you just want something that can control both of them. This is what this is designed to do. So what you do, you plug in the USB into computer number one and you plug in the other one into computer number two. We will go through there in a second. And by switching the switch, you should be able to change from one computer to the other computer. The only downside with something like this is it doesn't do your monitors. It only does your keyboard and mice and maybe a couple of other devices that you want to connect to it. So uh, with that, I'm going to set it all up and we're going to give a proper test to see if it will, and I... I think it probably will, if it will work my keyboard and mouse on two PCs. Not at the same time though. You have to press the button switch from one to the other. So uh, with that, give me a second, I'll set it all up. I'm not using my normal keyboard because my keyboard, my normal one, is all plugged in and wired up and it's a bit complicated to take it all apart again. So I'm using one of my other keyboards, this one here. Now this one, it needs extra power to get the monitor. It has its own little monitor, but it needs extra power. And I've not plugged it in. And it still works. It works as a keyboard, which is what you want it to do. So just to prove the point, control alt delete. It's a bit grubby by the way, this keyboard, but it works. So the keyboard's working. It seems to be working fine. Let's just get up a bit of uh, text. Bring that over here. Uh, enlarge it so you can see it. And yeah, look, yeah, no issues. Now some of the functions might not work because like I said, this keyboard actually needs power. And yes, the mouse is working as well. As you can see, blah, blah, blah. Close that, don't save, voila. Now this, this is the only thing that caught me out. It says number two. Well, that one that's on number two is plugged into that PC over there. Whereas on my screen, I am looking at number one PC, which is that one over there. So it's a little bit confusing. So if I press number one, the mouse won't move. Yeah, because I'm on the other computer. If I press again for number two, it will work. Also, I have plugged it in a memory stick as well. And there it is, just come up. Because I want to see if it'll do memory stick as well. There are limits to how many devices you can plug into USB, whether it be on a PC or on a device like this, because it takes a maximum amount of power. So there is limitations, but it seems to be working fine. Now let's switch over to my other PC. I have a uh, KVM switch for my monitor, so I'm going to switch over, and we should need this on number one. Give it a second. Look, pull up. Press the button, it should. In theory, it should just work. It might not work with the. Um, oh, I might mess it up. That's not coming off. There she goes, it's working now. 
takes a few seconds for it to actually click in. I thought, well, that's not going to work. Yeah, it takes a little couple of seconds, two or three seconds for it to actually click in. And it should, if I go back again, come off of there, it should recognise my USB again. Let's have another go. I might have to unplug it and plug it in. I don't know. Let's see. So that's working. Keyboard should be working. Yeah, that's working. Do the normal check, get this over here, uh, and like that, so you can see it nice and clearly. Do a bit of typing, space bar, that's working, that's fine, no issues there. And unplug the USB stick, plug it back in. It should come up. I heard it, it made a sound, but I can't see it. Let's have a look. There it is, it's actually there. Aha. Uh -huh. so it didn't pop up, but it is there, look. I'm going to uninstall it or remove it from the PC. It's been removed, so it's safe to pull it out. Then I'm going to plug it back in again in a different slot. And it should come up, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Any time today. <laughs> well, it's not working, but it is working because. I'll prove the point to you again. It's actually there. That's it there. ESD USB E. That is the baby. And just to prove the point, it should just close it if I pull that out. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it is, it is working. Trust me. Yeah, I was actually surprised actually how easy this was to use. It's not the fastest in the world in terms on, it does take a few seconds. Now if I press this button again to number two, uh, it's not working. But number two should be that one over there, for, but for some reason it's that one over there. If I go back to PC one, again, over there, yeah? Oh, see, it's already come out there. All right, it's recognised it straight away. There you go, scan to feed, uh, continue that fixing, I don't care. But yeah, it's working, it's brilliant. No issues. No issues whatsoever, it works. I wasn't expecting the keyboard to work because like I said, it needed power and I thought that's not going to work that power. But the basics of the keyboard work. Some of the functions don't work because it needs power. This little baby is quite nice looking, although it does pick up a lot of fingerprints. Yes, yeah, quite nice looking, got a nice little shine to it. Easy to do, it's you know, a one button press. Now I'm on the other one. So if I go back to number two, which like I said, that one over there. Give it a few seconds for it all get into place. And yeah, mouse working straight away. And don't forget, one of the other things you could use this for, not just for the memory card or USB memory stick, but also you could actually use it plugging your printer, stuff like that. If you want to share your printer on two devices at the same time, you could just plug it in here and it should just switch it over, which I thought was really good. Yeah, you just switch it over and you should be able to use your printer on there. I've got a wireless printer, so it doesn't matter, but you do have that option. And also, it should be able to take some other devices as well. I'm not going to go through them all, but you should get the basic idea. So with that, yeah, for what it costs, and these are very cheap to buy, for what it costs, it is well worth the money, in my opinion. I will, as always, stick links in the video description. It's very easy to use. It's basically plug and play. And what I mean by that, you plug it into your PCs, one cable in one, one into the other. Oh, the other thing is, before we go on, or before we go to the final bit, I'm using a USB extension cable. This is the USB 3.0 cable, but it wasn't quite long enough to reach over to that computer over there. It's a little bit too far away from it. And I thought, try it with a USB 3.0 extension cable. And again, it works. It's all plugged in, it's working fine. So with that, like I said, I will stick links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, consider subscribing. It does help this channel to keep on growing. And if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.